the short answer of why does Loki work and why is he in all of our films, Tom Hiddleston. Period. We always were putting our chips on Loki that we believed in him as a character. Um, had Tom not brought him to life in a way the audience responded to, it probably wouldn't have gone anywhere. <sighs> you must be truly desperate to come to me for help. He has completely taken ownership of that character. From the moment he came in and read, he was Loki. I mean, you could just see the wheels turning. You could just see just how ideal he was to tackle that role. It is a balance that you have to ride. But I think Tom is very good at that balance because he's innately likable. You want to see him succeed. Tom is a finely tuned instrument. He can do anything. He can do it with ease. He can go from tragedy to humor. Anything you put in front of him. And he can change moment to moment, word to word. And he can be there honestly and swiftly. And fans know it. I love how the fans have really embraced Loki. It's amazing. The, the fan responses are beyond any of my expectations, beyond any of our expectations. And the amazing thing about Loki is that this is my third meeting with him. And this film challenges Loki to take responsibility for himself for the first time. Loki did get a raw deal. He did get the short straw compared to the guy with the hammer and the blonde, beautiful hair. And I think they root for him for that reason. <laughs> We always want to make an impression at Comic-Con. Comic-Con's the political analogy to uh, our base having a convention. Everyone is coming to it that uh, is important. The people that are coming to Comic-Con, they're there because they're true fans. They love these characters. They love these characters probably more than we love these characters. And they can be the most critical, too. They want to see what's new, what's next, what are you going to show us? Wouldn't it be great to have Tom Hiddleston come out as Loki? And we never would have even considered that. Uh, if it wasn't someone like Hiddleston, who's from the theater, to have Loki come out on that stage and berate the audience. We called Tom up. We explained to him what we wanted to do. He was completely on board. He loves that type of thing. And uh, from there, we figured out, how do we get him on stage? I came out here in 2010, when we just wrapped the very first uh, war film. And uh, I guess I was a comic convergent. Now I'm like three films in, and going up there in character. I'd say it's 7,000 people, it's about the biggest live gig I've ever performed. <laughs> the time is now. So what's coming up next? We're in post-production of a movie called Thor The Dark World right now. Humanity. <laughs> Look how far you've fallen. Huddling together in the dark. Like beasts. Loki of Asgard, and I am burdened with glorious purpose. People cheering and screaming and watching portions of the crowd kneel when he pointed and said to do so. Stand back, you mewling quim. Loki had arrived. He commanded us as you would any human group, and it was amazing. It was such an incredible experience. This meager palace of Midgard, the arena they call Hall H. He had that crowd in the palm of his hand. He really was Loki. Hair on the back of my head stood up. That was a way for us to somehow yank all those people and put them inside our cinematic universe for just the briefest moment. It is one of those moments that I will just always remember. And, and he will too. I mean, he just loved it. Why I love playing him is there is an element of delight and joy at being bad. He's someone who knows his true nature and is having a really good time. <laughs> Say my name. Say my name. Say my name. Say my name. Say my name.